Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on, friends? Welcome to Dennis Simplifies. In this video, we are going to generate the Fibonacci sequence in C. But as usual, the algorithm first and then the code. So, let's simplify. Write a computer solution to generate the Fibonacci series given the first two terms. For example, if the first two terms of a series are 0 and 1, the next term is obtained by adding the two preceding terms, etc. Thus, the third term of the series will be 1 and the fourth will be 2. Generally, the Fibonacci series is defined as follows. To the algorithm, we are going to ask the user to enter the first two terms. Again, we are going to ask the user to enter the number of terms of the Fibonacci sequence he or she will want to generate. Now, with our first and second terms, we can go ahead and generate the next term in the sequence, which is the first term plus the second term. To display the sequence we just generated, we are going to print them all out. That is, the first term, the second term, and the next term. We won't like to end here. We want to generate more terms in the sequence. And since that is going to be repetitive, that is, we will always be adding the terms up, that is, the, the next term and then the second term. And we also know how many terms we want to generate. We are going to use a for loop. So we say for i equals 3. For i equals 3 because we have already printed out three terms. And since i begins from 0, the fourth term will be when i equals 3. And the loop should continue to run as long as i is less than the number of terms. As you know already, i is beginning from 0. Let's take 0 to be our first term and 1 to be our second term. To generate the next term, we are going to add these terms up, that is 0 plus 1 which gives us 1, which will be the third term. Now, to generate the next term after this one, we are going to make the second term, which is 1, the first term. And also, make the next term, which is also 1, the second term. And then, add these current first and second terms up to generate the next term. Now, on generating it, we print, we print out the values for the value for next term, and then we end for. Now, we are going to use we are going to be using the same idea. That is, make the second term the first term, and the next term the second term, and then sum them up until the for loop ends. So, this is the algorithm for generating the Fibonacci sequence. All right, friends. That's it for the algorithm. Let's take a look at our code in C++. But before then, I will encourage you to pause the video, give it a like, and subscribe. Very well, to our code in C++. In the int main function, I declare the first term, second term, next term, and the number of terms as integers. Then I ask the user to enter the first term, I take the integer value, enter the second term, I take the integer value, enter the, the number of terms, and I take the integer value as well. I then generated my next term and then printed out the results. Now, I have my for loop which will repeatedly generate the next terms using the concept I already explained. System post is greater than zero will ensure that only the needed information will be displayed when we run our code and then return zero by custom. So now I'm going to enter some integer values so we see how our code runs. Zero for my first term, one for my second term, and I want only 10 terms of the sequence to be displayed. On pressing enter via my keyboard, it displayed the first 10 terms of the Fibonacci sequence. So our code is running properly. Friends, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Till then, a party!